how's it going? Today we are going to talk about my favorite products from October. I have some new products, some old loves, and then I have a couple things that just didn't work out for me this month. So that's what we're going to talk about. As always, everything is going to be linked down in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. Also, subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed and stick around so you guys can see more videos. I did just do my Sephora wish list and VIB recommendations, so I will link those videos for you guys so you can check them out if you want to. You guys know the drill. Sometimes when I film, I have to film with my little one toddling around in the room with me. So if you hear little baby screams, like happy screams, then that's what that is. If you hear weird noises, that's what it is. So she's playing with a wrapper right now. If you hear wrapper noises, that's what it is. So. Sorry about the distractions, but it's just the way it is. Okay, so let's talk about some eyeshadows. These are some of my Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I really, really love the Makeup Forever matte shadows. They have some beautiful metallics as well, but I have been loving the mattes. So on an everyday basis, what I'll do is I will use this really beautiful warm brown right here. I'll put it in the crease and blow it out. And then I'll add one of these two darker colors to right in the crease in the outer V. If I want to deepen it up more, I'll add the black, but those two or three colors have been really easy, really quick eye looks for me. And then if I want to make it even more intense, then I will add a shimmer on my lid. So these ones down here are really beautiful. These are probably the ones I use most often. These are shimmers, like I said. They're really, really pretty. Let's swatch a few of them. So here are some of the swatches. These two on top are those really beautiful metallic colors that I like to put all over my lid. And then the three mattes at the bottom are the ones that I use for the crease and the outer V. They're so, so pretty. And then one other eyeshadow palette that I've been using a ton and absolutely loving, it's actually just one shade from this eyeshadow palette, but it's what I have on my lid today. And this is from the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette. This is one I used to use all the time and I pulled it back out and it is so beautiful. So this top purple shade right here, it's like a metallic light lilac color is to die for. It is so, it is so gorgeous. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. It is such a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow like look how pigmented and highlighty that is it is gorgeous so i have that on my lid and then i have these three yeah. colors right here as my crease and then i added a little bit of black on the outer beat but it just looks so pretty so i have been doing this combination a lot and then i've been doing it just the mattes without the shimmer and so so pretty but if you don't have the petal pusher palette it's only like four or five dollars it's definitely worth it even if you're just getting it for that one shade it is so beautiful and so worth it so this has been a good rediscovery of mine and I just can't get enough of it. I do have one random item that I want to share with you guys this month that I have been so loving. It's it's awesome. I love it so much. And you guys, I cut my hair. Like, I cut my hair and I'm kind of regretting it. Do you guys do that where you like make a change or cut your hair and you're like, oh no, what have I done? Like, what have I done? That's kind of how I feel. It's, it's not that short, but I probably cut like four or five inches off and I feel like now I don't know what to do with it anymore and I try to do the things I used to and it just looks weird and... It's kind of a mess and then plus I have these baby hairs like you guys know like postpartum hair loss is no joke so my baby's almost a year old and after all of my babies I've had like crazy hair loss and then when it comes back when it starts growing back you have all these like super short little things that won't go anywhere and they're like all over my whole head so they like they're too short to go up like if I do my hair like in a ponytail or like this they're too short to go up but they don't lay nicely either so it's just like a mess all around and I feel like I feel like I'm falling apart okay anyway <sighs> crisis over so my random item that I want to show you guys this is a protein bar and I got this in one of my Ellie boxes I think last month the October Ellie box they sent a couple samples of these bars these are called Wolo bars and it's a protein bar, but they taste really good. Like I have never ever in my life liked protein bars or liked protein powders. Like I can't even handle them. This tastes really good. And this is the last one I have left. I ordered a whole bunch of them after I got the samples in that box. They're so good. So they have three flavors. They have mint chocolate chip, peanut butter, and like cookie crunch or chocolate crunch or something like that. I like the mint and the peanut butter, the crunch one cocoa crunch whatever it is that one's not my favorite it's not bad it's just not my favorite but 
I really, really love the flavors. It just tastes good and it doesn't taste like a protein bar. And it's kind of cool because they have like a crunchy layer that almost looks like those like crispy things that are in like a crunch bar, like those little rice crispy things. It looks almost like that. And then there's a top layer of this like nougat -y kind of textured stuff. And then there's like chocolate chips sprinkled on the top, like little mini ones. And so it's really like a different looking bar also. It's just an all around good little bar. It's really nice for me to put like in my purse or in my car because when I have days where I'm just like running around and doing a lot of things I don't eat or I get to the point where I just wait too long to eat and then I like want to eat like fast food or something really unhealthy for me and so having these with me like in case of like an emergency is really really awesome and it's really saved me a lot of times from eating something that I'm going to regret so I really do like them I think they're awesome like I said this is my last one I need to order more but guys they're really good they're really good so they do have on their website you can buy I think you can buy like two bars and then it will ship free so that you can like test them out and see if you like them so I will link that down below I'm not affiliated they don't know who I am or anything like that but I just really really like them and I think they're a smaller company so I would really like to see more people know about these because I think they're so good for a protein bar like I can't even tell you how good they are so good so if you guys are interested, go check out that little like sample set. Okay, let's skip around to a couple of face products. So a primer I've really been liking is this one from La Roche-Posay. I think I heard that Taylor talk about this a long, long time ago and then it went on sale for like half price at Ulta and so I grabbed it and I've had this for several months and I just never used it, but I've been using it and I really, really enjoy it. You guys know how much I love to use like a dewy or glowy foundation <laughs> even though I have oily skin. And so if I put this underneath it, this helps keep me more matte, but still get that look of dewiness and glowiness from the foundation. So I really, really like that. I think this would be perfect during the summertime or any time if you guys have oily skin, but especially for me during the summertime with all of my foundations in the wintertime, it just works so, so well with these, those glowy foundations. So I love it. It really does help to mattify. And then another product I have been using and loving, this is the Derma E Illuminating Rose Hip and Cranberry Face Oil. And I put this on my face at night and my skin feels and looks so good the next morning. I like to use the Sunday Riley oils, but sometimes those, well, not sometimes, all the times, those can get expensive. And so I wanted to find another facial oil to share with you guys that was more cost friendly, but still had a really nice hydrating effect on the skin. And this one is perfect. It smells like rose water and it didn't break me out, which is my biggest fear when I try any new skincare. I break out super easily and I've been using this for three weeks and it hasn't broken me out. So this is a really good one if you're looking for a like a facial moisturizer and you have sensitive skin then you might try this one from Derma E. I think the rest of the products I have are all a little bit random so we're just going to kind of jump around. So this is a mascara. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before on my channel but if you guys like volumizing and lengthening mascaras, like who doesn't want their lashes to be volumized and lengthened, you know? This is just the perfect mascara and it's like $5. Like it's so inexpensive. You buy a couple of them at Ulta and then you can use your like 350 coupon. It's such a good deal. I love this mascara. So let me tell you what it's called. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It's just the green one. So I definitely recommend this to everyone. I think it is so perfect. It does dry out faster than other mascaras in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, you can buy you can buy it for only a couple dollars. So this one is awesome. I've been using this probably for more than 3 months almost every single day. I rarely use any other mascaras anymore because I just love this one so much. Okay, next random -y one. This is a MAC eyeliner. This is the Feline Coal Power Eye Pencil. I talked to you guys about this once before. I think it was in a haul video. It's just like a regular black eyeliner, really like creamy and really matte black and pigmented. But this stays in my waterline so well. Like I was so impressed and so blown away by how well it lasted. You guys know nothing lasts in my waterline. And I talked about in uh, maybe two months ago in a favorites, I talked about the... Oh, dang it, what's it called? I will write it here because I can't think of what it's called, but it's a drugstore liner that lasted really well in my waterline. The only issue with that is that it's so creamy that I was sharpening it like every two or three days because it just like wore down really, really quickly. It does stay really well in my waterline, but I have been using this for three weeks, I think, and I've only sharpened it one time in three weeks and I've worn it every single day. A lip gloss that I have been absolutely in love with, like it goes with me everywhere, is from the Sephora collection. This is the 
Outrageous Plump Effect Gloss in the shade 02. This is the nude one. They also have a really pale pink and like a corally one. This is the only one I have. I plan on getting the other ones at the Sephora sale, but this is the best. This is the best lip gloss. I love it so much. It really rivals the Marc Jacobs glosses, which are like two or two and a half times the price of this one. So it's just beautiful. The glossiness stays glossy for the longest time. It is what I have on my lips today. I don't have anything else on underneath the gloss. I just popped this gloss on right before I started filming, but it's really pretty. And it is like, it's nude, but it's sheer enough that you could wear anything underneath it. And this would just add gloss to the top of it. And then, like I said, I'm going to get the other one. So I will tell you guys how the other ones perform if they are just as good and the pigmentation, all that stuff. But this one is such a good one. If if you guys haven't gotten it, you need to check this one out. It's really, really good. And like I said, it stays glossy for so long. And it has just like a slight, the slightest amount of like tingliness to your lips. Not enough that it even like feels uncomfortable or anything. Just enough that it feels like that like peppermint um, mintiness to your lips. You know what I mean? So this one is so good. Love it. Then very last before we get into products that didn't work out for me this month, this is a highlighter from Lancome. This was actually sent to me from Lancome and Oxley. This is the dual finish highlighter in the shade 01 Shimmering Buff. Look how pretty that is. This is the highlighter I have on my cheeks today. If you guys can see that highlight, it is just so pretty. The thing that's really awesome about this one is that you can put it on dry and it gives a nice highlight, but it's not crazy intense or you can wet it and add some intensity to it. So look how pretty that is. It's a really nice color for me right now where when I'm more fair. If you are a little bit darker, they have, I think they have five other colors. And it's kind of funny because the shade five is a lighter gold color. And so I think if you were just a tad bit darker than I am, that number five would look so beautiful on you. I do like gold highlighters, but a lot of the times gold highlighters are too gold for me. So that one's a little bit too gold for me right now. Maybe in the summer it would work, but this one is so pretty. It's like a little bit lighter than a champagne color and it'll just give you like a glow from within highlight or a more intense highlight. So I love it. It looks so pretty. So Moving on to a couple of products that I was not crazy about this month. The first one is from Flower Beauty. This is the Seal the Deal Long, Long Lasting Matte Setting Spray. They also had a dewy one, but I obviously just got one of them. So this I was really excited about and when I sprayed it, like I always do like a tester spray, you know, it seemed so good. Like it's so fine. Like see if you can see it. Can you like hear and see how good that mist sounds? So I was really excited. So I did my makeup, I sprayed it all over my face and there were a few little spitty droplets on my face and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from because the mist seems so fine. I don't know, I don't know how I was getting those droplets on my face, but that was okay. It wasn't a deal breaker. I was really happy with the way it like took down the powderiness but helped my face stay matte. So I was excited, I went throughout the day. I looked in the mirror, you guys, and where those droplets had sat on my face, I had little like white dots all over my face. Like only the big droplets, the little droplets didn't do that, but the big ones, I had little white dots. Like, do you guys know like in the winter time when they put salt on the sidewalks and stuff to um, help get rid of the ice? And then when the water evaporates, then you have like that, those little like salt things all over the cars or all over the sidewalk and stuff. That's what it was like. It was like a little white, little white dot it was so weird and so I had to like I was so embarrassed because I was out and I was doing stuff and I was walking around with those little white dots on my face so I tried it again because I was like maybe it was the foundation maybe it was something else but it was just this spray I couldn't get it to not do the little spitty thing and I couldn't do it I couldn't get it to not leave the little white rings so this one was a fail. If you guys have, ha have tried the dewy one, then let me know if the dewy one's any good. The other thing that didn't work for me, I was so sad about you guys because I was so excited about these. These are foundations from The Ordinary. These are priced so well. They're like $6 or something. Really inexpensive, but really good shade range with really good, um, like they really name them well to tell you what undertone it is. So I love that. When I applied them to my skin, it just didn't look right on me. So for a lot of people, these might be great foundations, but for me, it looked a little bit cakey, even when I used just a small amount of product and I tried extra hard to make it look light. 
It just looked cakey, and I think part of the problem was that it sunk into my pores and fine lines, even when I was using a pore-filling primer. So they were just misses for me, which is so sad, because I feel like for a lot of people, they're going to be good, and it's a great shade range and a great price. So I was really disappointed. So those were the products that really stood out to me the most in October. Of course, there were other ones that I used and were kind of like mediocre, but those ones were the ones that I loved the most or that didn't work out for me. So there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!